Okay guys, so we, we finally got the axle situation figured out. So this is what, what we're gonna do. I went ahead and I pulled the um, the hub on the, um, the FX16. So this is the stock Toyota hub. Now, the issue that we're having is um, when you put when you put the uh, the output shaft inside, I'm gonna do for example. When you put this is the stock Toyota um, this is the stock Toyota output shaft. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the back so you can see how, how far it comes to. So look at that. You have plenty of um, you have plenty of thread that you can go ahead and catch your nut. But I can't use a stock um, output shaft on the turret. I have to use because my axles already come with the uh, the Honda one. So what we're gonna do to, to fix that issue? Let me just pull this back out. Now before I show you that, this is the stock Honda one, and you can see as you can see the height difference. So what's happening is when we put the um, the Honda one inside the back of the uh, the Toyota hub we're barely able to come through. I don't know how good you guys can see that. You see, this is a problem we're having. So now I found a solution for that. What we're gonna do now, Toyota actually have like this, um, This uh, I think this is more like the ABS ring. What we're gonna do to make everything work, we're gonna take the ring off, which I already removed it. This ring is gonna come off. And also, we're taking a dust shield off. So this dust shield comes off too. Now that free up a little bit more space for us to get in the, the, the axle. But the problem is we're getting with the Honda out, outboard hub, we're getting a little clearance issue around the rim of the uh, the back of the hub. So if we was to put this in here right now, you can see, I don't know how good you guys can see that, but you can see it's already touching. And basically, now you see we got a lot more thread that we can come to. We can actually catch a, maybe like five or six thread, which should be um, good enough. So my solution and what I'm gonna do to rectify this problem now, I'm gonna actually um, take this back out. I'm gonna have to go ahead and trim the back of this. Um, you guys see that? I'm gonna have to go ahead and trim the the, out, the back of this hub in order for the axle, the, the outboard shaft to go in a little bit further. Because what, what what you want is this this part of the, the output shaft to sit flat against this. And right now it's not sitting flat because uh, we're having a little um, clearance issue right here. So that's what I'm going to do to rectify the problem. Once I trim this outer piece right here, it'll be able to go in further. And I have uh, I also found out I might even be able to use back the, um, the stock Toyota dust shield. You see how it fits on the Honda... Um, the Honda hub perfectly on the Toyota hub it actually fits in and go in so it clears it outside so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna retain this thing but I'm just gonna shave the back of this I'm gonna shave the back of this so once we put this back on here it's gonna sit f further down and we'll be able to use the dust shield on that so like I said the back of this will just need to be shaved to clear this I'm not gonna modify the axle because you know when when if I ever have to change the axle, at least this part is already modified. I can just in and out and go. So as long as you don't you don't take off too much material, it, it, material it should be fine. I mean, it's only a little piece of grinding you have to do anyways. So once we get the clearance that we need, it'll actually go in. It'll sit further down, and we'll probably be able to get a few more threads in the front here, and we're good to go. So there you go, guys. That's the um. That's the Toyota. Um, that's what you have to do to the FX16 to get to accept the, uh, the Honda axles. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this should be able to work on like maybe earlier models, um, 92 and up AE, AE, AE92. If anybody out there want to do a case swap on the AE92 or even the FX16, this is what you have to do. Like I said already, I already have I already got lucky with the uh, axles that they already the perfect length that I need, so I don't have any issues there. So once I get this modifier and I can catch the bolt and at least get the bolt locked so it doesn't spin off, then we're good to go. So there you go, guys. We got the axle part figured out. 
So, I mean, if anybody have any questions about the uh, anything that I've, I just showed you here, just comment down in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it. But uh, this is what, what I'm going to end up doing with the, um, the, uh, the access setup for the FX. I mean, so far, so good. Okay, guys, so here's a finished product of me uh, grinding down the back of the hub. Uh, you can see, took off a little bit of the material all the way around, so the, um, the axle can go without binding on anything. Um, so now we can finally put the axle in and um, get everything to work the way it should. So let me go ahead and put it in so I can see you guys. I'll show you guys what we got going here. If you guys can see the clearance now that we have, that's what we're looking for, so it doesn't touch and bind against anything. So let me just go ahead and hammer it down a little bit more. Okay, so, and I think she's fully seated now. Now. The, the way you're gonna know if it's not binding, I mean, if this thing, um, if this thing spins, there we go. See that spins, it's not touching against anything inside there, so that's exactly what we're going for. And let me show you how much, uh, look how much um, stud that we got now. Look how much stud came through now, so that's more than enough for the bolt to go on and lock into place. So I'm, I'm feeling confident with this guys. So we're gonna roll with this and um, you know, this should work perfectly. All right, so there you go guys. That's what we have to do to get the um, the Honda axles to work on the Toyota Hub. Simple, not not too much of a modification. Was a lot of research I had to do, but you know, that's how it is sometimes, so. All right, so there you go. We also have our brand new hub and bearing that we're going to press into the um, the new, um, I mean, the old hub right here. Don't want to use these old parts. And this bearing that's in the hub right now is no good anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and press that up, clean up the hub, and, you know, maybe paint it a little bit and stuff like that. But I'm not going to fill none of that. I know you guys already know how to press bearings in and all that. So we're good on that. All right. So that's it. Alright guys, so just giving you guys a quick view of um, the axle mounted on the car now. So we have it already all the way inside the transmission and all the way out to the back of the uh, hub. As you can see, everything fits perfect. I got lucky with the length, man. This thing is still surprised me how everything is coming together, but as you can see, everything is there. Axle spins nice and freely. There's no blinding, like I said before. So, looks like this is a done deal, guys. Oh, let me show you guys the, the front. See, there's plenty of space for the, 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 uh, the stud sticks out far enough. So, all right, guys. So, that's pretty much it for this. Just wanted to show you guys, you know, the whole thing on the car and everything like that. So, I only did one side so far. If one side fit, there's most likely the other side's going to fit up. So, I don't really need to show you guys with the other side so all right so there she goes guys all right so i guess you guys are saying hey jdm Leto, what's next for the fx16 well i mean most of the um the stuff that i wanted to film is basically um done we uh went ahead and did the mounts we got the engine mounted in the car um we got the axle the axle situated now um the other stuff that's left to be done is mostly like fuel lines, intercooler plumbing. I mean, you guys let me know down in the comments if you really want to see that stuff. Um, I mean, there's plenty of videos of fuel lines and intercooler plumbing and stuff like that online. I don't think I'm going to film that too much. Um, I might just go, what I might do is just do like an update and let you guys see the progress that, that, that's, that's been going on in the FX. Um, 
I don't know. Let, let me know in, in the comments if you really want to see this stuff. I don't think I want to film it. I just, it's, it, it takes a lot of time to stop and film stuff sometimes, man. I mean, I can move a lot faster with the car if I'm just, go, if I'm just going through it and, 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 and putting stuff together. But when you're filming and you got to stop every minute, it takes, it takes a lot of time, man. So, I mean, but if you guys want to see it, you know, I'll, I'll film it. I'll film it. Um, I really don't want to, but if you guys want to see it, I'll film it. Um, so I just want to, you know, speed up the process with the FX and uh, try to get it done as soon as possible. I know you guys um, probably want to see this car driving already. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments if what, uh, what you guys want to see. Let's take a different approach on the FX16. So this is going to be the end of this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you know, keep supporting the channel. You know, so we can keep on bringing you with these videos. I mean, without you guys' support, it, it's not gonna make too much sense to keep making these videos. We actually do this for you guys, so um, you know, support the channel and um, you know, tell a friend, like and subscribe. Like I said, and um, so you can see the the progress on the rest of the car. We have plenty of um, of uh, content for you guys that we have to get to. So. I think you guys are gonna really like to see what's coming up next on the um, on some of these other bills. So, you know, just keep supporting the channel. All right, guys. See you on the next episode. Now existence is something that is spontaneous. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control of these things. So we say it happens spontaneously.